Hey everybody, welcome back. Dave with Acrylic Pouring here. Uh, this is day, or I'm Dave, this is Dave's Acrylic Pouring. And uh, I'm going to do another Christmas themed painting. Okay. Um, now what I've done is I've used some Artist Loft White. And I've used some Master's Touch Primary Red. And to both of those I have mixed in my Iridescent Medium. Okay. Uh, now I have poured those onto the canvas and kind of like moved them around to give it that marble look and what we're going to do today is we're going to do what is called a double swipe okay so I'm going to bring you down and let you get a look and see what is going on all right as you can see it's kind of like I've smeared it all together it's kind of like marbled somewhat there <clears throat> and I get some paper towel all right so what we're going to do is we're going to pour um, the red right along the edge followed by one thin strip of the white and I'm going to pull it all in this direction okay that's my first swipe and I'm going to tilt it do what I got to do uh, heat the tor uh, torch it heat the heat it out get the bubbles and whatnot which I got to do that right now actually while we're talking about it and then after I've tilted it and stretched it out a little bit I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side I'm going to put a stripe of red over here with a little bit of white and I'm going to pull it across again so it's a double swipe all right so I've got it on my plate here and I'm going to pour it right along the edge. I was thinking about doing this with just the uh, small pieces of paper towel. I even went ahead and cut some of them up, but uh, that's why it's here on the plate instead of in my cup. But last minute I changed my mind and we are going with this route. Alright, so I'm going to get my white and the white is still in the cup and then we're going to pour a thinner line across here. Remember to go off the edges when you're doing this so that uh, it gets both sides of it. Okay. <clears throat> Now I'm going to move this stuff out of my way for a minute and we're going to change directions of this uh, bin here because I'm going to pull towards myself. It makes it so much easier. Okay. We want to be wide enough to get the entire thing. Okay. I'm going to start down here. Let it rest in. You see how I've got a little bit hanging over? That's fine. Okay, and now we're going to drag this very easily across the entire thing. And then let it fall off the edge. Okay. Put that down there. Let's torch this. Well, that's interesting. I really expected to have more cells. Have 
more control of it that way. didn't get cells, so I'm going to actually I'm going to add some silicone oil to it, and I want cells. And usually I can get cells without silicone oil by doing swipes, but I think the red uh, has a little bit more of a higher density than the uh, white does, so it's not wanting to give me cells. It's not wanting to sink in the uh, white paint. So that sucks, but it's alright. Alright. Now remember, when you're doing these, if you want small cells, mix your, uh, your silicone oil in quite well in your paint. If you don't want small cells and you want larger cells, just give it a quick stir. Two or three you know, stirs in there. And I'll give you some bigger cells. Alright, so let's try this again. Coming in from the other side. Alright. And wrong white. this again. Center that up. All right. Now we're getting some cells. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna pull back this way. It's nice to be able to uh, change things on the fly when you need to. Um, you know, when you have the knowledge to uh, change something up, so to make sure that you get the uh, exactly what you're tr what you're trying to go for. I'm gonna use my heat gun. Heat this up a little more. Remember to keep your heat, whether it's a torch or a heat gun, keep it moving. You do not want to get a skin on your paint. You don't want to dry it out on the top. You're just trying to warm it up a little bit. All right. Now this time I am going to put the white on the outside because I've got a lot more red in here. Now I'm going to do the red on the inside. Okay. And then, oh shoot. Alright, that's, that's for later. I need three pieces. I need it all in one piece. See how it's saturating through the uh, paper towel there? It's starting to get darker. That's what we're waiting for. And then gently pull it across.
double swipe. <clears throat> quite a bit of paint still left on here so I'm going to go ahead and stop you here for just a minute and then I am going to go get my uh, my paint pouring uh, pool and um, my lazy Susan and we're going to spin this out so give me just a second and I'll be right back okay so as you can see I got it on my lazy Susan here and we've got some more cells growing I'd like to get a little more of the paint this way before I spin it okay so let's give her a little bit of a spin oh no what happened My leg fell off. It's all good. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Goodness. Alright. Got a little bit of a mishap here. Rub it up a little higher, I think. somewhat working. Well, I'm gentle with it, I, it'll work. <clears throat> yeah, one of my little leggies things fell off. Now this to me reminds me kind of of like the peppermint candy sort of thing. So I'm going to use the balloon kiss and I'm going to bring those peppermint candies right out there to life. <clears throat> so let's let's bring some peppermint candies out. Thank you. 
did there is I dipped my balloon into the plate, give it some little more depth on the ones that don't have a whole lot of red in them. cells in there, got the balloon kiss in there. Let me, let me get a little bit of that off of there. Let me move it over there. Yeah. <coughs> Farley, stop. Alright. Now let's give her a little bit of a spin. can't handle that. Alright. One more heat. One more heat pass. Definitely, uh, the red is definitely rising to the surface in this. All right, All right I'm going to bring you in for a closer look so you can see. See how this looks up close. And as always, I am trying to do this as quietly as possible, and I never seem to get it. After I, when I watch my videos, it's always noisy, so I apologize. Trying to talk over it so that you guys can't really hear all the noises, but you can see the lacing in there and the, and the uh, larger cells. Very flower-like, like almost like chrysanthemums. Really like this side over here. It's got the real decent cells on it. I wish I had a little bit more of that behind the uh, balloon kisses. That would have uh, really made them stand out a little more. All right. Nope. There it is. Gotta adjust it down, sorry. I'm short guys. <laughs> well I'm not really short. I'm 5'11, but alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I enjoyed this one. It's very uh Christmassy, very um peppermint candy, if you will. So that's what I'm gonna call this one, peppermint candy. So thanks for watching. Um hope you guys learned something again. If you have, hit that subscribe button, throw me a like, it really helps the channel. Um and remember pour on. Have a great day.